I dialyze at home while I sleep for six nights a week. And it's that frequency that um, really has a lot of benefit and you feel the impact of because you don't have the kind of ups and downs that come with three times a week dialysis. Patient survival is better, patient quality of life is better, opportunity to be rehabilitated is better, and it has other advantages too, but those are the big ones. Patients have several choices for home hemodialysis. They can dialyze three times per week, similar to in-center dialysis, or short daily dialysis, which is usually five to six times per week for two to three hours per day, or nocturnal dialysis, which is performed at night while people are sleeping. And they dialyze for a lot longer, like eight hours, eight to 10 hours, um, and we slow down the pump speed and, and uh, make it very safe for people to dialyze at night, but they can go to sleep, and then they wake up refreshed, and then they can come off dialysis. It is the best way to treat your kidney disease if you can't have a transplant. The best advice I ever got was to put in my own needles. So needles are the thing about dialysis, hemodialysis, we all uh, think about and uh, can cause the most uh, concern. And so when I started dialysis in 1990, I couldn't even look at these. I would, I would hold my arm out and turn my head and the um, nurse would put them in. And it took so much of the stress out of being on dialysis because I was in charge of my needle. And once people know how, that they can put their own needles in, then everything else seems to fall into place. Learning how to set up a machine becomes sort of second nature and, and very easy to do for people. If you can drive a car, you can drive a dialysis machine. You don't need to know what's underneath the hood, so to speak. All you need to know is how to make it run and what to do if you have a problem. So it's true that once you get into the rhythm of things, once you learn how, what you have to do to accommodate all this, you can feel well enough to go back to work, and, and indeed I did. So I've dialyzed in 22 countries on five continents. Step by step, you know, I learned what I needed to do to accommodate all these changes and, and found out, you know, how, how I could uh, feel well and, and, and make this part of my life. It is something you can do. All right. I started dialysis October 1988. About 22 years this October. And your books will always be right where you can reach them. Mm -hmm. This is the process we're going to right now. We're learning how to do this at home. It's hemo, but it's taking your own needles. You, you are putting your own needles in. You got control of this thing. So this is totally different. You do more dialysis. We teach people how to put their own needles in. Um, we try to overcome their fears of um, blood and putting needles in, and we've had great success with people learning how to do that. When I first heard about it, I said, I'm going to put my own needles in? Now, I've been doing this for 20-something years. Like I said, everyone's been putting needles in for me. Now you're telling me I could put needles Yeah, that's a fearful thing. Now I'm really to the point, I, I'm going to go home feeling good because I just, one time, go down until I get that flash and straighten it up and that's it, that's it. So it has a lot of pluses to it. You know, the thing what got me when it said, you'll be healthier. I said, I will, huh? I definitely got to check into that if it's going to make me healthier because I've been doing this a long time. And I know at some point you just get worn down, you know. And for me to try this thing now, and, and I'm trying to give me a few more years, you know, and I think I can do this with this home dialysis. That's what I'm trying for.